Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an FTP client to manipulate files on your server. All the FTP clients, they work pretty much the same way. I'm using one called Transmit. Uh, it's a Mac FTP client, but all the Windows ones and the other Mac ones, they all work pretty much the same way. On the left hand side, we have our desktop, in my case, the WP PhD site folder. On the right hand side, we have the actual server. And what we can do to edit these files is, I mean, there's a variety of ways, but the most common way is you would drag this file over to desktop. It says up here, download complete. And then you could open this file and edit it and then save it and then re-upload it. And it's kind of tedious doing it that way. So I'm just gonna delete this file. One thing to understand is when you drag these files over, you're not actually moving them. So if you drag a file from your server to your desktop, you're not moving the actual file, you're copying it. So you have a copy on the server and a copy on the desktop. Um, so we can delete this file safely, the one from the desktop, and not have to worry about the one on the server being affected. Now the way I like to edit files is by right clicking on them and clicking on open with. Now most FTP clients support this, not all of them, but most of them do. And what just happened is I opened the file in a text editor called Sublime, Sublime Text 2, and then I can edit this file. And as soon as I save this file, transmit the FTP client detects there's been a change and it just uploads the changes which eliminates all the steps of uploading, downloading, saving, re-uploading. It saves all that hassle. So I'm just gonna enter uh, or put a carriage return in there, save this file so you can see what I mean. So if we save this file, watch on transmit receipt, uploading at the bottom this is very quick because it's a very small change, very small file as well. But if I add some more carriage returns, if you watch on the bottom bar here, it says upload complete up here, notification. If you watch on the bottom bar, you'll see it uploading after I save this. So I save the file and that was so fast. Anyway, take my word for it. You save these files. If you use the open with command, you save these files on the desktop in the desktop program and it automatically uploads them back to the server, which makes things way easier, way faster. What you can do other than that, I mean, really that's the big thing you want to do with FTP access. If you're manipulating files is to edit them. But you can also upload files, of course. So in your WP content folder is usually where your uploads would go. You can upload new themes by opening the themes folder, uploading new ones straight into here. You can delete ones you don't need. You can go into the plugins folder, upload new ones, delete ones you don't need. Uh, you want to make sure you upload them when they're not compressed because you can't, with most FTP clients, you can't decompress zip files or RAR files on the server side. So make sure you upload them as the uncompressed folders, the plugins and themes. And in the uploads, we have photos and a bunch of other stuff that themes add. But if you want to just upload your own photos, you could just easily upload them here. The drawback is they will not be featured in the, the WordPress media library. So you only be able to see these photos by going into the server itself. And really that that's all there is to manipulating files on the server. Uh, if I miss something, ask a question down below in the comments. Um, but that's all I can think of for manipulating files with an FTP client. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out WPLearningLab.com for more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.